Hi, I'm Camilla from The Five Resellers, and today we are going to sign up for a Poshmark account, open our Poshmark account. So let's do this all together. I'm here on the Poshmark homepage, so I'm going to sign up with my email. You can sign up with Google, however you want. And here I'm going to fill in all of this information. So this username piece, this is like your brand name. So you really want to think about what you want it to be because like it says, it can't be changed. I'm going to put five resellers YouTube. If you have an invite code, so an invite code comes from someone else, you know, another posher that maybe referred you or something. So you can put that in. That gives you $10 when you shop and gives them $10 when they shop. So then you click next. So on this page, you can add your shopping information. So, you know, what size dress you are, what size shoe you are. That way you'll get personalized recommendations. If you're using this account to sell, you might not need this. So you can also put your zip code in. That is also optional here, but it will help buyers know like where you're shipping from, that sort of thing on your seller profile. I'm gonna leave that blank for now. And then here you choose some brands. Again, this is if you're shopping, you get updated information when new items from these brands are listed. I'm not gonna choose any because I'm using this account primarily to sell items rather than buy items. Okay, so now I can start shopping. So this is your landing page when you arrive on Poshmark. It has the people that you follow, which I already have a couple people that Poshmark has chosen for me to follow. And then it has some new listings and different brands, and it has these live shows, all of that. So you can scroll through this feed, see what other people are posting. But let's go to our closet so we can get it set up so that we have it all ready for when we make our first listing. So if you go over here, to where you have your little profile picture. You click the drop down, and you can go to my closet here. That takes you to your closet where all of your listings will be. So right now we're going to edit our profile so that we can get it all personalized for us. So I'm going to add a profile picture here so that people know who I am. They know, you know, who they're buying from. And then I'm also going to change the header image so that I have sort of like a brand here. And then here on this My Info, this is like your tagline. So what you want buyers to know when they visit your closet, all of that. So here I'm going to put in next day shipping since I ship each day and great deals daily. So then you can put in some other information here. I'm going to leave those blank. And then now that is all ready. And you could also edit this meet your posher listing. So this is again, a little bit more of that about you information. So you can edit this, you can add different photos. You can add multiple photos if you want. You can change this description. You can add whatever you want. You can describe yourself, all of that. I'm gonna leave this as it is because to be honest, the meet your posher you can put a lot of effort into it or you can put a little bit of effort into it. I don't find that many buyers look at it. So I wouldn't spend too much time thinking about, you know, exactly what you want it to be. On your closet, there's this little button that says about. And so you'll see here that it has a little bit of our, you know, demographic information, anything that we put in, any other accounts that we connected. So we can connect our Instagram, we can connect Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, and then it has your meet the posture here. And then what I want to talk about on this page is the love note. So when you buy something on Poshmark, when you receive the item, you can rate the purchase and you can leave a little review. If you do that, they will be shown on this page where it says given. So that is love notes that you have given. So on a five-star review that you have written as a review, if you are a seller, your buyers can do this as well. So here on this about page, users will be able to see any five-star reviews that you've gotten that someone has written a review for. If by chance you sell an item and the buyer rates you lower than five stars, but writes a note, you know, saying what was wrong in the order or what they didn't like, that will not be shown here on this page. So you don't have to worry about that. Those reviews under five stars are not public. And so if that happens to you, you don't have to worry about other buyers seeing that and being deterred from buying your listings. When you first sign up for Poshmark, you'll notice that a lot of people will follow you pretty much as soon as you open your account and you're thinking, why are they following me? I don't have anything to offer. Poshmark is a social selling platform. So 
part of it is that you follow other people, they follow you, they see what you're selling, you see what they're selling. It's a part of the Poshmark culture to you know, follow a lot of people. You can participate in that as much or as little as you want. You can focus as much on selling as you want or as much on the social aspect as you want. The amount of people that you follow or follow you does not seem to correlate with the number of sales that you have. So I wouldn't worry too much about it if you're on Poshmark to make money. And speaking of followers, you might wanna change your notification settings when you create your account so that you are not bombarded by notifications of people following you, sharing your listings, and you know other sorts of things like that. So to change your notification settings, you go to this drop down main menu and you go to account settings and then to notifications. And here you can turn on or off your notifications for what you want to have Poshmark notify you about. So another specific Poshmark thing that you'll find when you create an account is what's called a Posh Party. You'll see them here in your notifications. You put invitations to them each day. They are usually about four each day. And so if you click on the notification, you'll be taken to the Posh Party. But a Posh Party is essentially a themed page to which you can share your listings that fall within that theme. So you can see this one is best in tops and sweaters posh party. So you can share all of your listings of tops and sweaters onto this page. And so if someone is on Poshmark looking to buy tops and sweaters, they can essentially scroll through this page and see all different options. And it's a way to get some more eyes on your item and to get lots of shares and maybe some likes all of that that will hopefully result in a sale. You don't need to stress about always sharing your items to these parties. I haven't really found them to be very effective in resulting in sales. I you know, participate in them when I think about it, but sometimes I don't and often, you know, it doesn't seem to make a difference for me. But you can decide kind of how much you wanna participate or not participate in all of these Poshmark specific things. So the last part of setting up your account is how do you actually get paid for things that you sell? So how that works is, so if you go to your drop down box and you go to my sales here, once you make a sale, it will populate onto this page. It will show you the status of that sale, whether you have shipped it, whether it's arrived, whether the buyer has accepted it. So once you sell something, you ship it out to the buyer and the buyer receives that item. The buyer then has three days to accept the order and to give you a rating. The rating is totally optional along with the review. But once that order is accepted or auto accepted after three days, then that money is released to you into your balance. And you'll find your balance on this page under my balance here. And you'll be able to see your credits. So that is, you know, from recruiting people onto Poshmark, or if you were recruited, you might see some credits there, or if you win something on Poshmark and then pending, those are sales that you've made that have not been accepted by the buyer yet. So you're just waiting for that buyer to accept that order. And then here you have redeemable. So that is the amount that you can actually redeem. You can't see it here, but I'll show you how you can redeem that money once you have actually made a sale. So this is how you redeem your balance when you have sales that have been completed. Here you see all the options that you have to transfer that money. You can see that they have varying levels of fees. I always do bank direct deposit. I hate paying fees, so I'm not gonna pay a fee just to have the money you know, faster or in a different way. The first time you do this, you'll be prompted to add your bank information and that is usually like a checking account or a savings account that can have electronic transfer go to. So you'll need the routing number and the account number, and you can change the amount that you deposit depending on what you want to do. If you change your bank at any point, you can change this account here by clicking edit. But then other than that, you just click redeem and it should go through in a few days. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments what your questions are. And if you have just now created your Poshmark account, you can check out my other videos on how to create your first listing and on how to use bundles to make more sales on Poshmark and hopefully coming soon, one on how to ship on Poshmark. 
If you have any questions in starting your Poshmark business, leave a comment down below. I'd love to chat with you down there and potentially make a video if you have a question that I think a lot of other people need answers to. If you aren't subscribed, consider subscribing. We make wet sold videos each week on what we're selling online so that you know what to pick up when you are trying to sell items on Poshmark. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.